And joining me now from Los Angeles, California, and Atlanta, Georgia, our journalists, colleagues, and friends, Jamel Hill and Carrie Champion. Good to see both of you. Congratulations on this start. I mean, you have everyone talking. Jamil, uh, you know, you never hold back. People have told both of you at different times to stay in your lanes. What did this freedom to have this show mean for you? Well, first of all, thank you for having us on. It means a lot, especially to be on with you, um, Tamara, somebody who both of us have looked up to in this business for a long time. So thank you. Um, but I will say, I think um, for me, and I'll let Carrie speak for herself, is that this was really a breath of fresh air for us. Um, we are certainly women who are not shy about sharing our opinions. But I think when we were both at ESPN, uh, the conversations that were happening around sports and in sports were in a different place. There was a lot of fear uh, there were a lot of people who didn't know how to have these conversations, and it was just a little bit too uncomfortable to embrace. And now we're in a different position. And right now, more than ever, especially not just with the election coming yeah. up, but just with the moment we're experiencing in this country, it seems really important to drill down on some issues. And that's the thing, Carrie. I mean, Jamil pointed out, for some people, it's uncomfortable. I'll tell you the truth. When I had season one, I reached out to a friend of Megyn Kelly's, and I said, can you help me get her on the show, because I figured if me and Megyn Kelly could sit down and talk about race, anybody can. I'm still waiting, but, you know, I'm hopeful <laughs> that we would be able to be an example of two women who can, from different ends of the spectrum, and by the way, won't agree on a lot, but we'll be able to sit down and talk. And, Carrie, having this platform for you, um, as I said to Jamil, the liberation to have the uncomfortable conversation, because I honestly get tired of people saying, oh, I don't want to have that. It's awkward. Well, some things are just going to be awkward and hard. Yeah, Deal I, with it. Yeah. Yes, yes. And that's a mantra that Jamil and I have on the show. I think uh, for so long, we would have these conversations just in the living room, on the phone, in our group text. And and I think that this country, as we deal with this racial reckoning, everyone wants to have this conversation. And if you don't want to hear it, too bad. Yeah. I think that uh, our show is something that we are so proud of because we do have those conversations and much more. We have a lot of fun. Yeah. We also, and I don't have to say this, is like we give you this medicine, but we wrap it in candy sometimes. So you have to be able to digest it. And so... Right now, if not now, when? And Tamara, you're right. If you could have a conversation with Megyn Kelly, you know, God bless. But, you know, if <laughs> right now, not now, well, when? <laughs> I, I say that in a hopeful way, not to use her as a punchline of a joke, because it's not. It, it's more about just how difficult. I, I just saw on Twitter someone said, Tamron, you seem like a nice person, but everything is about race. And I'm like, but it's not. But I do think the hardest conversations as women, as people, but especially as women, deal with it because we're having it with our friends and our Facebook groups or our brunch parties or when we're dropping off our kids, but we're not talking to each other.